As part of the 16 days of activism to end violence against women and girls, Oxfam Nigeria is taking the advocacy to secondary schools in Abuja as a way to create awareness amongst girls. Plus TV news correspondent Emmanuel Hegene completes the report. With a bold headline, enough to capture the moment and send a message against discrimination against the girl child, Oxfam Nigeria joined other NGOs and CSOs in sensitizing students in secondary schools on the need to end violence against women and girls. The group seeks to ensure gender justice in the country by creating an environment where both the male and female child will be treated equally in all spheres of life. The program manager explains why her organization decided to target the schools and how Ms. Dolakbo Balogun was selected as winner of the Gender Justice Challenge. Some of the girls that participated in the challenge setting, there are two minutes recording. So that was what we actually requested from them, okay, that they should tell us about what it meant to be a girl child in Nigeria. So they came up, so we had some, um, so they came up with two minutes um, recording, which was uh, sent to the, uh, our official email address, which was created for this challenge. And then we came up with um, some groups, we like to see some groups, so we identified some of our staffs that actually assessed the videos before coming up with the winner. The occasion also afforded the students the opportunity to relay their experiences as girls in the world dominated by men. Sideline girls thinking that their only role is just to come to this world, give birth, take care of children. They don't really, they feel like they don't, girls are not supposed to have ambitions like in the olden days girls don't go to school like I, I have like my like I have people that I know that they did not go to school in the olden days so that's why most of the old women we see they are not educated because back in those days it was only the male child that they paid school fees for to go to school this program has been established to boost up young girls, to empower them and to make them know their rights and to make them feel less of themselves, feel more of themselves. I mean, yeah. So there was a time, I do sports a lot, so there was a time I wanted to go for a race competition for my school. But they were like, oh no, they can only allow boys to go. And I was like, oh, that's not fair, that why can't they allow girls to go? So I personally, I took it up to some of my classmates. So we went to the PhD teacher, to the coach, and we suggested that girls should be allowed to go too. So we actually went, yes. It is good for girls to be the leaders. The, the girls shouldn't keep their self low. They should always take charges. And they shouldn't be influenced by what boys or the male says. Where we came out for sports, the boys wanted to play football and then I said, I want to play football too. And they said, no, I cannot play. I don't know how to play because I'm a girl. And I told them that, no, what a boy can do, a girl can also do it better. So I, said, I went to the teacher to report and the teacher said, okay, it's fine. I should play football if I want to. The organizers believe that this advocacy will further support the government to take the issue of gender discrimination against the girl child seriously and take necessary actions to eradicate it. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.